<laughs> Daddy Pig and George are at home making chocolate cake. Yes, if you make the carrot cake, Mr Rabbit, that would be lovely. Miss Rabbit is taking Pepper and Mrs Cow to the dressmakers. Hello, we need a wedding dress for tomorrow. Oh, that's wonderful. Put the kettle on. So, what sort of dress would you like? We've got big and bunchy, small and slippy, or a big tent thing? Ooh, that's the one for me. Well, it's important you feel comfy on your special day. Okay, what color do you like? I love yellow. The top one or the bottom one? That one. <laughs> is that enough to make a dress? This is just a scrap to cut up and play with. Oh. This is the dress cloth. Wow. Now we just need to measure you. Cut the cloth and sew it up. There. Try it on. Now what happened to that tea? Oh, oh that's nice. <laughs> Merci. You look beautiful. Now take it off and you can take it home. <laughs> Those are big scissors. Yes, dressmaking shears. They're not for children. But we can cut something together if you like. Yes, please. Here's the tea. Whoops. <laughs> One last cut. Right, rings and dress sorted. Where's the cake? You can choose. Carrot, banana, fruit or chocolate. Oh, I cannot decide. You don't have to. Just stack and add icing. Two tiny people on top. And that's what a wedding cake looks like. Hooray! <laughs> Want to see the tiny people, George? <laughs> there! <laughs> this is the Eiffel Tower. Wow, this is busy. Imagine what the tourist places must be like. Look, Mummy, it's Miss Rabbit. I didn't know you had a job here, Miss Rabbit. Excusez-moi, I am not this Miss Rabbit. I am Mademoiselle Lapin. Oh, I'm sorry. Souvenirs! Get your little Eiffel Towers here! The real Eiffel Tower is really big. Can we climb up it? Um, it looks a bit high. Daddy Pig does not like heights. Do not worry, Mr. Pig. We take the elevator. Going up. I'm glad that's over. Oh, no. That is just the first stage. Now we must climb the steps. If you feel dizzy, Daddy Pig, just close your eyes. OK. This is as high as we can go as visitors. Let's look at the view. Ooh. These steps are going on forever. Oh, dear. Daddy Pig is not looking where he is going. He is climbing up and up and up. What a wonderful view of Paris. It's lovely. Yes. What do you think, Mr. Pig? Mr. Pig? Where is everybody? Daddy Pig is at the very top of the Eiffel Tower. Hang on, Daddy Pig. Ah. I must call for the rescue services. Thank goodness you're here, Miss Rabbit. I am not this Miss Rabbit. I am Mademoiselle Lapin. Don't worry, Daddy Pig. I am going to get you down. Ah, I'm going even higher. What can you see, Daddy? I can see everything. <laughs> My Daddy came to Paris and he saw everything. <laughs> <laughs> this is the sandcastle area. Who likes making sandcastles? Yay! <laughs> now, you might have noticed it's been raining. So instead of sandcastles, we're making mud castles. Hooray! First, fill your buckets with mud. <laughs> Turn your buckets over. 
Give them a tap. Lift your buckets. Mud castles. <laughs> I like mud castles. Mud castles are the best. Well done, Miss Rabbit. How did you ever come up with the idea for mud castles? Simple. It rains every year, so we always make mud castles. Ah. So what do we want to do next? How about painting pictures? Yay! This is the painting tent. <laughs> Today, we're going to paint pictures. And instead of paint, we're using mud. Ooh! We've got lots of brown mud and greenish mud. I even found some blue mud this morning. Hmm, what's best to paint with mud? I know! A muddy puddle! <laughs> the children are painting mud pictures. Daddy, what are we doing next? Something that's fun. Learn all about concrete in the olden days. <gasps> that sounds a bit boring. This is the history of concrete area. OK, so who wants to learn about concrete? Hmm. Okie dokie. Owing to the current mud situation, I've got a better idea. Who wants to do some puddle jumping? Me, me, me! <laughs> My most favourite thing in the whole world is jumping up and down in muddy puddles. And if we're going to jump in puddles... We must wear our boots. That's right. Are you ready? Yes! Then jump! <laughs> oh, oh, my turn! <laughs> Daddy Pig has covered everyone in mud. But of course you can see my sleigh. Come outside, everyone. Wow! It's beautiful. What's it like to ride in? Hop in. I'll show you. Why not? A little drive around the car park? Hang on, everybody. Ready, steady, <laughs> go! Whoa. This is amazing! Oh, my goodness! We're flying! Can you go faster? Hold tight! Whoa. Let's do a loop-the-loop. Uh, yes. Happy Christmas, everybody. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Mrs. Cow is not normally late. What's that? It's... It's a huge piece of cheese. That's so beautiful. Oh, it's not cheese. It's Mrs. Cow. Do you, Mr. Bull, promise to love and care for Mrs. Cow forever? I do. And do you, Mrs. Cow, promise to love and care for Mr. Bull forever? I do. Who has the rings? I do. These rings show your promise to love and care for each other. When they put rings on fingers, that means they are married. Now, you are married! Hooray! You may kiss! Hooray! Yeah. Who wants a piece of this beautiful wedding cake? <gasps> How did that happen? I think George sat on it. Never mind, it will still taste delicious. <gasps> it looks like the layers of earth I see when I'm digging up the road. It is the most beautiful cake I have ever seen. <laughs> there is a lot of happy crying on wedding days. I just want to say that Mr. Bull and Mrs. Cow are lovely. I 
love you, Mrs. Cow. I love you too, Mr. Bull. <laughs> there is a lot of happy crying on wedding days. <laughs> Here are the chickens. It's time for the chickens' lunch. Would you like to feed them? Yes, yes please. Okay, have a bag of bird seed each. <laughs> <laughs> what lucky chickens! Yes, they certainly are well fed. <laughs> now, who wants to hold a baby chick? Me, 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 me! me, me. <laughs> oh, they're so little. They're so fluffy. They're so sweet. <laughs> it's true. Baby chicks are little and fluffy and sweet. Mrs. Badger, what other animals have you got? We've got guinea pigs. Can we see the guinea pigs? Of course. But before you see them, you need to... Wash our hands! That's right. <laughs> <laughs> wash, wash, wash your hands. Wash them nice and clean. Bubbly, swabbly, swabbly, bubbly. Wash them nice and clean. <laughs> Here are the guinea pigs. Oh, look at their cute little faces. Uh, and their fluffy little bodies. You can pick them up and stroke them if you like. Oh, you are lovely. Adorable, aren't they? That's not quite the word I would use. And they make excellent pets. Can we have a guinea pig, Daddy? Please? We haven't really got the space to keep a guinea pig. You don't need much space. Uh, and they probably need lots of looking after. No, guinea pigs are very easy to look after. And I would do all the work. But, Peppa, um, you might not want to do that forever, and then you could always look after it for her. Uh, look at the time. I think we have to be getting home. Oh, yes. Magic moving stairs. That, Peppa, is an escalator. Can we go on it? Yes. Hold my hand. <laughs> <laughs> Here is Susie Sheep. <gasps> it's Susie! Hello! Hello, Peppa. Where are you going? We're going to the top. Where are you going? We're going to the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa has reached the top. Quick, Daddy. I need to go down to find Susie. I'm coming to find you, Peppa. I'm coming to find you, Susie. Ah, you're, you're going, going the wrong, wrong way. Peppa and George are back at the bottom, but Susie is at the top. I think that's enough escalators for now. But I need to see Susie. Then we can use the lift. Ooh. I need to find Peppa. Then let's take the lift. It's not working. Someone else is using it. We just have to wait. But I need to find... <laughs> Peppa and Susie are best friends. Papa, look what I've got. <laughs> Little Susie's in boxes. How did you do that? In the photo booth. I'll show you. This is the photo booth. You sit in here, put the money in there, and then it flashes. It's not flashing. I think it's broken. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> There's more. Smile. When does it flash? Ah, oh, I missed it again. <laughs> you have a funny face. <laughs> <laughs> and the last one. Has it finished yet? <laughs> I think I might be in that one. <laughs> Here are the pictures. Look at all of those funny faces. <laughs> Madame Gazelle, what's going on? Mr. Bull is getting married! Oh! What does getting married mean? It's when there's a big party called a wedding. And two people promise to love each other forever. And that's it. Job done. <laughs> <laughs>
Then they argue about who is washing the dishes. I saw someone get married on TV once. They stand up and say yes, and then they kiss. Yuck! Yuck. I don't think I want to get married. Home time, children! But we only just got here, Madam Gazelle. There is too much to do, Denny. I have to get ready. Everybody has to get ready. Action stations! Mr Bull and Mrs Cow getting married? How did you know that? Everyone knows, Pepper. It's the biggest news in town. Any more news? No, not yet. <laughs> oh, wait for me and George! It is Mr Bull and Mrs Cow. Hello! Oh, oh, congratulations. congratulations! What are you doing here? We were hoping that Pepper might be the bridesmaid. Oh, yes, please! Uh, what's that? The bridesmaid is the bride's special friend for the day. Who's the bride? <laughs> That's me! Three, two, one! Goodness, Grumpy Rabbit's rocket has really taken off. Why does the game have to be so noisy? Grumpy Rabbit, this was just meant to be pretend. Pretend? What would be the fun in that? So, are we really going to the moon? We certainly are. It's a space adventure of a lifetime. If we're really going to the moon, I suppose our reenactment will be even better. Grumpy Rabbit's rocket has landed on the moon. It's one small step for Granny Pig. And one giant leap for Grumpy Rabbit! Woohoo! Come on, Pepper and George! Whee! <laughs> <laughs> Yes, Peppa. We can jump very high on the moon. <laughs> <laughs> These games of grannies. I hope they're not messing up my garden. <laughs> the first people to land on the moon planted a flag to show that they had been there. <laughs> Excellent, George. And they collected rocks. This is a pretty rock. Well done, Pepper. We can take that moon rock home with us. Did Grandpa Pig mention cups of tea for later? Yes. <gasps> I think we've earned it. Let's go home. Three, two, one, and go! The rocket is flying back home. My goodness! Granny's garden game is getting even noisier. Grandpa, Grandpa! How did the game go? We went to the moon. Super! It's true. We really did go to the moon. Of course you did, Granny Pig. Miss Rabbit has made an amazing undersea world with shells, seaweed and big waves on the walls. You did all this in one night. It's unbelievable. Happy birthday, Goldie. <laughs> oh, who can that be? Well, you said it was a party, so I invited everyone. Happy birthday, Goldie. <laughs> Hello, Penny. Hi, Peppa. <laughs> this is Penny Polar Bear. I never been to an undersea party. Bye, Penny. Have a look. Time. <laughs> I've made costumes for everybody. You can be a mermaid, Peppa. Thank you. And here is a crab costume for George. Pinch, pinch. I am Susie Octopus. <laughs> I'm Mandy Shark. Squeak. But 
but I'm not a scary shark. I only eat cheese. <laughs> Penny Polar Bear is a penguin. Grr. Danny Dog is a pirate. Aha! Rebecca Rabbit is, um... I'm a fish finger because I love fish fingers. <laughs> I'm a sea captain and Edmund is a jellyfish. I'm not convinced this costume accurately represents a jellyfish, but I'm not going to spoil the fun. Oh, you all look brilliant. Is everybody ready for the pirate treasure hunt? Yes, yes Miss Rabbit. The first clue is I swim along with a giant tail. I'm the biggest fish in the sea. I'm a... Shark! Almost. I have a giant tail. I'm a... Whale! That's right! <laughs> <laughs> He's a whale! The biggest fish in the sea is a whale. Actually, a whale is not a fish. It's a mammal. Edmund Elephant really is extremely clever. <gasps> <gasps> Mummy, why did they make hills so big? <sighs> Don't... No, Peppa. I hope <gasps> the amazing thing at the top is amazing. Yes, I hope so too. Oh, it's all gone foggy. Oh, I think we're in the clouds. We must be near the top. It's getting flat. I think this is it. We made it. Hooray! Hooray! Wow! I can see the whole world! Look! There's the playground! <laughs> I can see the supermarket! And there is Susie! <laughs> I told you it would be amazing at the top! It is amazing! <laughs> now all we have to do is climb down! Well, going downhill is a lot easier than going up! George, <laughs> let's roll a bit. Whee! Pepper and George love rolling down hills. <laughs> that looks fun. Can you roll, Daddy? I think if I started rolling down, Pepper, I might not be able to stop. <laughs> Daddy Pig has tripped on a mushroom. Ah! Ah! Wait for us, Daddy Pig. <laughs> Rolling down was really fun. Can we climb up the hill and do it again? Of course, but maybe we'll save that for another day. Yes, the big hill will always be here. Oh, goody. <laughs> Peppa loves the big hill. Everybody loves the big hill. <laughs> Digging up the river? Good question, Peppa. Hop aboard and I'll show you. <laughs> this river has got filled up with things that don't belong in it. There is lots of rubbish in the water, and that makes the little fish that live there very sad. <laughs> I use my digger to take the rubbish out. That old tire should never have been in the river. Lucky you're here to take it out, Mr. Bull. Yes, you wouldn't believe the things I've found. Wow, a shopping trolley. Shopping trolleys shouldn't be in the river either. I wonder what else is down there. Plastic bottles. We get lots of them. Have you ever found pirate treasure? Nah, I've never found treasure. This one's heavy. I wonder what it is. Pirate treasure! Unbelievable! It actually is treasure. And we found it. We're rich. Actually, it was me who found the treasure. Hello, hello, hello. What's going on here, then? We just found pirate treasure. Just found pirate treasure. 
Our job, as the police, is to find the pirate it belongs to. With any luck, a pirate might sail by today. Pirates? On the river? We don't tend to get many pirates around here. <laughs> Ahoy there! Pieces of eight! Shiver me timbers! Huh? Jim lad! It's a pirate! What a bit of luck! Excuse me, Mr Pirate, have you lost anything? Not that I can think of. No. So, this treasure chest isn't yours. Treasure? Ooh, come to think of it, I have lost a treasure chest. It was found in the river. Oh, yes. That's where I, uh, buried it. Well, that all adds up. Please take your treasure. Thank you kindly. I'll just be on my way. Goodbye. Bye-bye, Mr. Pirate. George can be king and I'll be a bossy queen. Do this, do that. <laughs> Your Majesties, may I carry on with the tour? Yes, you may. We have to go through a secret passage. But first, we have to find the secret passage. Hmm. These secret passages usually have some sort of top secret button to open them. I don't think it's that big red button, George. That would be too obvious. Oh. Yes, we try to keep it simple. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> this passage has led us to the dining hall. Wow. This must be the medieval banquet. Yes, it looks really tasty. It's all made of plastic. Yes, it's to show what a real banquet would have looked like. Oh. But of course, as part of the tour, you get to have your very own real medieval banquet. Fantastic. Here it is, your banquet in a box. The oldie cheese sandwich, Jester's pickle and a king's jelly. It's a little picnic in a box. Yes, it's not quite the medieval banquet I was expecting. And now it's time to meet the dragon. <laughs> George, it won't be a real dragon. Dragons are just pretend. Yes, don't be sad if it's just Miss Rabbit holding a little glove puppet. Oh! Wow. Wow. Miss Rabbit is driving a huge robot dragon. Do you want to see it breathe fire? Yes, please! Oh, uh, it's heading for our car. Another reason we say cars are parked at owner's risk. And that's the end of the tour. Hope you had a lovely time. We can always make some more bubbles. Who wants to go? Me! me, 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 me. <laughs> okay. Hooray! Are you ready? Yes, Mrs. Wolf. You have to huff. Huff. And you have to puff. Puff. And blow. <laughs> so many bubbles. Pretty bubbles in the sky. Ooh. Look at that big bubble. That's not a bubble, Pedro. That's the full moon. Ah. Oh. And you know what you do when you see a full moon? Um... You howl. Ahooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooo
with. What big eyes you've got, Granny Wolf. All the better to see you with. And what big teeth you've got. All the better to eat. <laughs> Birthday cake. <laughs> <Yay>! <laughs> OK, I will unlock the glitter cabinet. Madame Gazelle keeps the glitter safely locked away. Now, children, you did promise to use this glitter very carefully. It is home time and the parents have come to collect the children. Ah! Glitter! Don't panic. Please remain calm. There was a glitter leak, but we have it under control now. <laughs> Today, the children have been making masks. Ooh. Ho, ho, I'm here to pick up Pepper and George, but I can't see them anywhere. I'm a pretty butterfly. <laughs> flutter, flutter, flutter. <laughs> Excuse me, Mrs. Butterfly, I'm looking for two little piggies. Do you know where I can find them? <laughs> I tricked you. It's me. <gasps> Peppa, what a surprise. But where is George? <laughs> ah! <laughs> George, it's you. <laughs> I thought you were a dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> Madame Gazelle, I can't find Rebecca and Richard. Would you mind if I took these two carrots home instead? <laughs> Silly, Mummy. It's us. Oh, <laughs> Rebecca, Richard. <laughs> Come on, Pedro. Time to go home. I am not Pedro. I am Super Pony. Oh, does Super Pony want to come home? Or does Super Pony want to stay here for the night? Come home with you, please, Mummy. <laughs> Haven't we all had fun making wonderful masks? Who are you? It is I, Madame Gazelle. <laughs> <laughs> Madame Gazelle loves masks. Everyone loves masks. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>